Hey guys, it's Will here, Potato Strong. If you've been hopefully, you know, watching my channel for the past few years, uh, I did a lot of recipes early on and helped people with weight loss and, and health and stuff like that. But um, I, I pretty much have the same food now all the time. So I don't uh, have a lot of new recipes, but I'm so, so I'm showing gardening and, and, and some of the workouts and stuff like that. And, uh, but, so I'm kind of in a, holding pattern at this point for the most part. But I've cut up some yellow flesh potatoes into chunks and I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. I've, I've done recipes like this before, uh, gravy, different types of you know vegan gravy recipes. But, uh, it's, so it gets to the point where it's just re, re, you know repetitive, but uh, I thought I would just share because I'm making this right now. So basically, I'm just gonna add these People ask me like how many potatoes, I just cut up a bunch. This is just a tray, you know, this fills up a 11 by 17 or whatever, like if you're gonna bake them for fries or make chunky potatoes. So you can just take these, I don't peel them, and you can put them on a Silpat tray and bake them at 450 for at least 30 minutes or so, depending on your oven and, and um, you know, spice them up, put them in a bowl first and add some, I use Italian spices, garlic, onion powder, but for mashed potatoes, um, just bring a pot of, a big pot of water to a boil, leave room for the, to add the potatoes. So I'm going to add these potatoes and I boil them until the fork starts to break them up. Now I like them to be, to break up quite good for the mashed potatoes, but if you want quartered, like boiled quartered potatoes, you don't want to go too far. You want them to still be a bit firm. And uh, those are really nice too, just quartered potatoes, put some gravy on it, maybe a side of peas. It's just simple, super simple. And, um, but in this case, I go a little bit further with the fork, you know, they break up pretty easily. And that, that's nice when you blend the, uh, I use an electric hand mixer and, uh, you can add garlic or onion powder. You don't really have to add non-dairy milk and, and margarine and all that stuff. It's fairly creamy, especially with the hand mixer, electric hand mixer. So anyways, I'm going to add these potatoes to the water now and, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. So I've added the potatoes to the water. You can, um, you can dump out some water just so that it's, you know, a little bit above the potato line, just in case you don't want them bubbling up and and overflowing and stuff like that. But uh, this isn't too bad. But yeah, just fill up a pot of water, and um, or you can put the potatoes in first and then add the water. Take a, it takes a little bit long to boil that way, but uh... hey guys, it's Will back. Um, so the potatoes that I quartered are cooked and uh, pretty soft. I added some. Garlic powder. Um, you can save some quartered potatoes if you want to have like quartered potatoes. You can put some in a container in the fridge, and uh, you don't have to mash them all if you want because they're really nice quartered as well. People always ask me how long does it last in the fridge. <laughs> to be honest, I eat them within a day or two anyway. But um, so I can't give you an exact amount. But you know, a couple days I wouldn't want to go too much further. But um, it's not usually a problem for me because I eat them. Um, so I've got this Proctor Silex, it's a pretty old three-speed uh, hand mixer. These two things um, snap in and, um, and then I start, I start on the low setting and then I um, speed it up as they mash and you know it can, it can sort of splatter and stuff so you can be careful just getting it started small. Um, so I'm going to mash these up and I put like I said garlic powder, onion powder, you could put real like garlic cloves like you could um, crush some garlic. There's um, some people put non-dairy milk in there. You can take the water from the, the boiled potatoes, which are kind of starchy water, and you can add that as well. But um, I find the yellow fleshed quite creamy and good enough for me. I've also got some gravy recipes, um, brown gravy, or a uh, there's chicken style. I've also got a white bean gravy. You can get some packets once in a while. You have to watch that they don't have uh, you have to look at the ingredients because sometimes they have milk ingredients, but there's some some packets as well. Not the ideal scenario, but um, but that's what you can you can make mushroom gravy as well. If you want to fry up some mushrooms, like and add some veggie broth, and then you, you can use similar to my recipe, but just add in the mushrooms as well to add some more flavor if you like that. But uh, so lots of options and all tasty. So let's uh, mash these up. <clears throat> You guys, welcome back. Uh, so here's the mashed potatoes. I realized I had some chives 
you, you know, like I said, onion powder, chives. You don't really have to add salt if you're used to, you know, salt, but because I have gravy or, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. And if you get a nice flavor, but that's just up to you as far as how you want to spice it up. Don't be afraid to try different things. But uh, I'm going to have these with, I've also got peas and I just uh, cook these. I, I got, uh, you know, just just generic bag of frozen peas. So these are nice to to have as a side dish, especially, you know, there's some protein. I don't worry about the macronutrients too, or micronutrients too much, but the macros and stuff like that, protein, fat, carb, just eat whole foods, starch, mostly starch based, like starch as the majority, and then some non-starchy veggies. And uh, peas are kind of a starch too, so it's, uh, but it's a really nice combination. There's also corn as well. It's one of Dr. McDougall's favorites, I think, is, uh, having corn on the side. So I'll show you the final product, mashed potatoes and gravy with side of peas. Hey guys, so I just mashed up there, then I had the gravy and thought I would show you. I like a lot of gravy. Put some black pepper on there if you like and a side of peas. Simple and really filling. Mashed potatoes have been one of the most filling things. It's what I ate a lot of when I started and uh, you know, as well as baked fries, but I found the mashed potatoes to be super tasty and filling. And it's just like, you can't believe you're able to eat this because I used to eat it a lot with the big turkey dinners. And, and now I realize how filling the potatoes are and it kept you on track and uh, losing weight like crazy. So hope you guys like that. Talk to you later.